let's welcome Philip to teach us about A-B testing in hosting and domains. So welcome Philip, let's find out some more. Thank you very much. Hello, hello everybody. Hello, pending my presentation. So a, a short story, just everybody do sales pitch. And Helmut said to me, Philip, please do not do sales pitches, everybody. He invited me, he said, take something that is very, very interesting. Last year I talked about AB and he said, please show to people how to do it. Because still 90% of hosting companies do, do, do not know how to do correct A-B testings and hypothesis. So there will be two presentations, two sessions. One, how to do it. And second one is the uh, most popular errors. And I think it will be also very awesome for you. You will see how people, how people fail. And by the way, it's data-driven learning. If you somewhere learn about, heard about data-driven learning, so th that is. So that's me. Let's start. How to experiment with hosting in the mains. So, so the firstly, do you know this guy, Jeff Bezos? Is the company Amazon. He said that experimenting is the key of his business. So experiments is the key of his business. So they do millions of experiments every day. When you order something with Booking.com, with Uber, you see how they change the prices. Always this, the same car they sell you five times. This car is cheaper, this car is more faster, this, this car is more safe, but selling you the same car. So Bezos said this is the key of success. One more thing is this is growth team of Airbnb in 2015. Can you imagine like Airbnb 10 years ago had a team like this who only tests. They do only testing all the day. That big team, they only coming to work with one idea, how to grow, how to hack the metrics. Because they know if they be competitive as everybody, they have no chance. Airbnb, Airbnb, it was a really big company. In Facebook, in one time, was over 2,000 gross hackers. But regular hosting do not know how to do simple A-B test. I just show how to do it. Can you imagine 2015, 10 years ago, all these guys just all the day test, 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 search how to hack the metrics. Okay, so this looks like a little bit boring, but it's very important slide for your business. Firstly, you do customer discovery. Customer discovery, it means you talk to customer and find the problems. Sometimes, you know, somebody come to, comes to you and said, we, uh, like, we have a problem. Or your employee said, we have a problem. But when everybody says that he has a problem, possibly problem not exists. Usually, entrepreneur said something like this. We need, we need to do a rec uh, invoice recognition software but technically nobody needs. So firstly, you talk to customers like many, many times and ask if problem exists. Then you present your solution. When you present your solution, you don't even need to have a product. Firstly, you understand the needs and then you provide the product. Look like very simple, but it's not like this. And once you present your product, you come to the customer and start selling it. So firstly, you understand if product, if problem exists, then you provide your solution. Sometimes, sometimes problem exists, but your solution is bad. Then you need to sell it, and then you need to scale it. And there are, sorry, some problem with fonts. Uh, but the idea is, firstly, when you have a problem, uh, User, usually entrepreneurs create the problems. They said, oh, people need to have pizza in two minutes. People, have to ne people need to have taxi in two minutes. They create problems. Po possibly problem not exist. And how usually business do it? Usually how big entrepreneurs do it? I have great domain name. I have good, a lot of money. Let's make a business. Firstly, they make a business. Then they see no sales. They start analyzing the situation. Why no sales? Then they start showing the solution to customers. And then they see 
that uh, no needs at all for the product. But company already built. So it means they do opposite. Young, innovative businesses, firstly, they test if problem exists. I was talking, I was like in, a, in a, how to say, like 20 years ago, I was in Silicon Valley, like was in Silicon Valley many, many times. And I was sitting like with you, we was in the coops, and a lot of guys like 15, 20, I like, don't know, 25, they were searching for ideas. Every day what they do, they create idea, putting on the web, and see if, if there are some inquiries. They create a business without any background, just making landing pages and see if there's a traffic, if somebody inquires. But you know, do you know how Dropbox gets the finance? Just an idea. Dropbox gets around, develops a product, and no sales. And they didn't develop product in time. So Drop Dropbox develops the product, but not finished. And they need next round. So Dropbox, it's like, they need next round, but product not finished. Do you know what they did? They use the situation. They just make a short website with video, how Dropbox works. People just can come and see how, Dro how Dropbox works, and they start registering. I would like to get this software. So software not exists, but they get 50,000 registration in one week. People who need this software. And then they came to investors and they said, sorry guys, our software not working, but 50,000 people need it. So it's like, and there are lots of stories like this. Okay, so there are lots of type of tastings, and we're now talking today about AB and experiments. So firstly, when you experiment, this funnel is about 25 years old, Usually, uh, you should experiment in some, in some layers. By the way, for you as well. So usually, uh, all businesses have that funnel, but less than 5% of hosting businesses has any knowledge here. Usually, they do chaotic experiments, not like this. So firstly, it's awareness. Awareness is when you advertise. For example, now you increase in awareness. Everybody heard about .me, about Boosty Host, about you. So. Then next one, you can test an acquisition. Then when a customer is ac ac uh, acquired, you can activate it, ac activate him. For example, for your activation, person buys domain name, but not activated. Not activated dot me domain name, drop next year. But if somebody make a perfect website with dot me, domain stay longer. Is it true? Yeah, more or less. There are different usages. I mean, it's an expensive But mostly, if you take 100,000 users with .me domain without websites and 100,000 users with websites, with websites, they stay longer. OK, then, then you calculate retention, how people like. Then you calculate revenue and also referral, how each .me customer refer to other. And what is important, you can test in every of this stage. And I recommend you to test where is the shame. Usually, your business is good, but in some areas, there are a big shame. Here is bad. So this is the place you need to test, because you lose nothing. If you test the pl in the place that is shame, it's very easy. <clears throat> and when you test, you need to have some numbers. For example, you have three inquiries a month. You're unable to test because not enough data. And this is the problem. Small companies have no opportunities to test. Big companies test a lot, because they have lots of data. Small companies have no data, they're unable to test. The one reason why Amazon, Google, and lots of company, lot of companies like this, many companies like this, grows very fast because they have lots of numbers. Small companies, no numbers. And when you test, you need to trust in your A/B test, and I know we'll show how to do it. So simple test. Sorry, not don't dot me, but let's imagine it's dot me. Yeah. So the fir our first test. The test looks like this. If we advertise new price. 440 instead of 880, like so we decrease price twice, and then we will double our registration twice. Because, because competitors did it. Yeah, so the idea is if we drop price for .me from 8 to 4, we would like to double the registrations. So this is our idea. Now play a game. So we have during the, let's say, last period, we have 20,000 visitors, 2,000 registrations, so we have 10% conversion to registration. 
C0, it's usually in gross hacking is like registration. C1 is payments. So we have 10,000 registration rate. And then we decrease the price twice. And then we have not, not 10, but 12%. Do you understand? The conversion was 10%. In the short test was very short, and you get 12% conversion. What is your idea? Is it, is it good or not? What do you think? Is it test was valid or not? Just your idea. You had 10% conversion, now it's 12. Is it better or not? What do you think? Everybody thinks it's better. Technically, the problem is it's negative test. Why negative? Because there are no statistical significance of this. Just good example. Let's calculate how many men and women are here in this, in this area. Then you open the door and two women, pretty women like you, come inside. And you, and the, you do the conclusion, 100% of people who came here are women. It's not true, yes? Be you're unable to, to say it after two people. So you need some amount of people to, to know, to have statistical significance. So here is the same. You need enough people to prove that is, that is like this. So you plan to double there. You pl your, was plan your plan was to double. You didn't double, so you did not succeed. In other case, you can also check how much data you need to grow 2%. You need to sample size like 3.5 thousand. You don't have this sample size, so you don't have enough data. So technically, it looks like 12, but technically there are no 12. And lots of people, when they do A-B testing, they see number a little bit bigger, it's good. But when numbers are a little bit bigger, you still need to have significant statistical significance. By the way, is scientific method. Do you know, like physics, mathematics, this is methods. And this is scientific method. So scientific method, how to get knowledge. So you, you, so you get knowledge from your visitors. OK. So get next example. Second, if you advertise a yeah, website builder, you will increase registration from 10 to 15%. This is A. Can you imagine, by the way, it's really live data. If you just make website builder and you just write AI yeah. yeah, website builder, for me, that experiment looks like very stupid. I said, everybody like, and ex expectation is registration from 10 to 15%. Can anybody trust this? this one, one word on the landing page from here to here can, ch can change whole registrations. One word. So technically, in our case, it was a little bit smaller numbers, but it was like plus 50%, just in our case, in our, in our company. When we just add AI website builder, it's increased. So let's let's take A and B. Yeah, so we take A and B. A without AI, B with AI. Here we get the conversion 10%. Here we have conversion 20%. Looks like good. And we just need statistical significance only 600. Now we have 4,000. Looks like nice. But what we see next? Only 20 people paid. Here 20 people paid. And here 20 people paid. So it means like people over the funnel, you get more registrations, but you have the same amount of payments. Because lots of people came for AI, for AI website builder, they were expecting for it for this, they registered and get nothing. It's something like you are at the bar and somebody uh, and somebody like at the bar written beer, I don't know, one euro. You come inside the bar inside the bar, beer is ten euros. Technically, the motivation come inside the bar is very high, but the ads and the reality differs. Yeah. So this experiment was positive for registrations, but now you need to solve here. Yeah. Okay. So our third experiment, this is very powerful experiment because it's experiment with search engines. So technically, uh, we did A-B test with search engines. For example, you have a theory. You said, if we purchase 10 links per month, over six months, in US and UK market, we will have significant change in Google ratings. Looks like, looks very nice, but how to check it? 
For example, we would like to buy lots of links over the, over the year, over the, over the year and over the world. We would like to buy many links. But we can do what we can do. We can test these few countries and buy links in that countries. If result increase, we can buy everywhere, right? So we can test ever with CEO. By the way, it was a real story by Freddy. He said, you need to buy local links. So we, sorry. And we see, so do you recognize US and UK signs, logos, flags? So the, so the results start counting. Can you imagine, guys? You can e experiment ever with CEO. So you buy links. Of course, you need to follow some recommendations, some, some kind of, uh, you see all hosters, all hosters, 2,000 people audience making picture of, <laughs> of this light. Yeah, it's a re real story. You see like side pro, side pro. So re result counts. So if you, now, now we see that this works, we can scale it to other countries. Okay.